Good morning, welcome to Market Mashup, our weekly recap of financial markets and what we have on store for this upcoming week that might impact your stock and bond portfolios. I'm Scott Naska, President of Generation Capital Management. The mixed market last week is the Dow Jones was up 1.9 percent, S&P 500 up 0.3 percent, and the Nasdaq was down six tenths of a percent. So did a little um, reallocation, rebalancing across where people were uh, lightening up on the tech-heavy Nasdaq and moving into the banks and healthcare companies in the Dow Jones. So we'll see if that continues in the upcoming weeks. In terms of the bond front, the two year is at 4.83 percent, ten years at 3.81 percent. So we got 102 basis point inversion still, where the short short end of the market is yielding higher than the longer end. You know, we're over a percent right now, which has expanded over the past few weeks. And it's something to keep an eye on because if history repeats itself, it usually leads to economic slowdowns and recessions. So pay attention to that. A lot of data points coming out this week. We have consumer confidence on Tuesday, new home sales on Wednesday. We have Q2 2023 GDP numbers coming out Thursday and the PCE inflation data coming out on Friday. Federal Reserve um, has their monthly meeting on Wednesday where they will provide interest rate forecasts and outlooks that are coming out. So you wanna pay attention to see if they're gonna raise rates by 25 basis points or keep things steady this month with unchanged and wait for more data to come out. Mixed viewpoints out there in terms of which direction they're gonna go. I also wanna pay attention to the Q&A session with Fed Chair Powell to see if he tips his hand anywhere in terms of the future outlooks on interest rate policy. We have 20% of the S&P 500 companies reporting this week, including Microsoft, Google, Visa, Meta, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. So we've got a wide range of sectors out there uh, reporting. We're going to see if any ideas in terms of how their second quarter's numbers came out and if they provide any forward guidance for the rest of the year. See the strength of the consumer, see if that's continuing to be resilient. We want to pay attention to all of that. Feel free to reach out to us. Take a look at our website, www.gencapmgmt. Our team is ready to answer any questions that you might have, provide a second opinion in your portfolio. Just make sure your allocations line up with your risk tolerances and goals and objectives. So give us a call. We're glad to help out any way we can. We have some timely articles on our website, John's Top Tips, providing some financial planning advice. It might just spur some levels of interest that you need in terms of making sure your budgets are all set. So please take uh, a look and feel free to reach out to us. I'm Scott Naska, President of Generation Capital Management, and this is Market Mashup. Have a great week, everyone.